We will be doing a little frame prep today on our 1968 Datsun 520, and if you will allow it, I will be your host, the one and only infamous Kentucky Yankee without a doubt, commonly referred to as the Benny. Amazing the condition of these bolts and this old rubber. They don't make rubber like this anymore. Crooked. Yeah, I think it'll be all right. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Well, that's a shame. Now with the frame all up on the operating table, it should be much easier to work on. How do you like that?
I myself like it very well. Mm. Pretty sure we're going to have to replace all these old clipperoos. Our wiring harness oh, removed. This certainly would have caused an issue. I don't want to, but I think the best thing to do is leave this bumper on. I'm afraid if I break that bolt, we're going to have issues. These are still good. I'm just going to leave them. All right, we've got it mostly stripped down pretty good at this point. Now for a little fun and experimenting. This is a backing plate. I gotta get this wheel cylinder off. I don't like this design. I can't get a socket on it, but let's see what happens here. It's the first thing I don't like about this truck, this right here, I do not. Ah, we got new ones of these anyhow, wheel cylinders, and I'm sure it needs it. Our adjuster. Now, check this out. We will unscrew this part of my little impact hammer. Then install this little doodad. Mm. Notice all the little fingers on here. Our crud castrator is working just fine, but it is a little bit rough and puts some dings in the metal. And there is one other thing I wanted to try on these backing plates and small parts. This is milkstone acid. It's used to clean pipes 
at dairy farms, the milking pipes, and it eats rust. So let's see what happens with our backing plate in a couple of hours. The crud castrator is working great, especially for spots like this, where it's real tight, hard to get to, and loose rust, it'll just break it up and blow it off of there. But I have another trick up my sleeve. So this is a crud castrating drum, if you will, so to speak, and we're going to try it on the flat surfaces of the frame. Post crud castrator, pre crud castrator drum. There's a sneak peek demonstration for you. And let me tell you something, I'm not hating it. It looks good. It did a fine job and it was quick too. It's been a few hours, so let's look at our backing plate. And that is looking pretty dang good. I believe I'm happy with that. Let's get it rinsed off and dried up and take a closer look. I've got some water in this bucket. And I'll put a little baking soda in here, and that'll neutralize the acid. This is the way to go on the smaller parts. It certainly did an awesome job cleaning it up. And I was very concerned about drying it as quickly as possible to avoid flash rusting, which you're gonna get some, but it's not bad at all. For the smaller parts, I'm gonna avoid using the slag remover because it puts a bunch of little pits in it. I don't mind on a frame, but this, I don't like so much. You have now been informed on all of the methods I'm gonna use to remove rust from this truck. And even after I'm done doing all of this, I'm still probably gonna go back and sandblast it, but it'll make sandblasting a lot quicker and easier with most of the rust and flake and all that stuff gone. As always, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and please leave a comment. See you next time, guys.